an appropriate face to begin for this video, I think. Greetings, I'm Shad, and Fight Scene Autopsy is back! The most pedantic, detailed deconstruction and analysis of sword fights here on YouTube. Seriously, sometimes we break this down frame by frame. And in this episode, we are looking at the fight between Rey and Kylo in Rise of Skywalker. And I know they have, you know, one or two other fights, but the main one, okay? The one on the water kind of thing broken Death Star. Or as I like to call it, the Battle of Baseball Bats. It's for reasons that you will soon find out. And just because it's been a little while since we've done a fight scene autopsy, I just want to explain a little bit of what we do here. So the primary focus of these analyses is, is breaking down the fight scene for its realism and practicality as an actual sword fight. It has always been my opinion that more realistic sword fighting choreography is far more engaging and enjoyable and in actual fact, Corridor Digital has recently done an absolutely brilliant lightsaber fight scene that is far more realistic and they focus they specifically make it to be more realistic i highly recommend it go check it out it's brilliant and who knows maybe i'll do a fight scene autopsy on the corridor digital video sometime in the future but i still need to do the one on adaria and they made theirs first and this is so good but the takeaway is realistic sword fights can look absolutely brilliant now this is not to say that i don't acknowledge more fancy somewhat unrealistic maneuvers if they're still practical or if the move isn't completely brain dead that would leave you open so of course i'm perfectly happy to allow a couple more flashy moves as you saw in my analysis of anakin versus obi-wan i even demonstrate some of the moves myself as i'll be demonstrating some of the moves and also better ways to execute certain moves in this video as i usually do not always but i try to in these fight scene autopsy videos and in actual fact instead of using a shanai you'll get to see me using the cali motion ellie LED Saber from Kalamazoo, which is sponsoring this video. The Kalamazoo LED Saber is honestly one of the best sabers I've ever been able to use, and I want to tell you exactly why. With Bluetooth connectivity, Wi-Fi enabled, swappable energy cores, incredible durability, padded sleeves, fully customizable lights, sounds, programmable interactions and sequences, interconnectivity with other Kali Motion devices, real-time movement detection, and truly immersive sound. The Kali Motion LED Saber is incredible and comes with features no other saber does. An ergonomic rubber grip for comfort and safety, it is incredibly durable and padded to make it one of the strongest and safest sabers you can find. With the steel tubed double battery pack, you can put two together and have your double-ended lightsaber and go crazy with the spinning. You can program unique responses through Calimotion's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi interconnectivity to other Calimotion devices. You can actually turn on and control the features of your sabers at a distance, just like using the forces if you are a Jedi. Let's see what it looks like when I turn it on close to my face. Ready? I'm like... I want to kill you. And when they say you can program your own custom lights, they really mean it. There are so many options. And the Quasar model is also coming with new hilt colors. Sorry, I like red. I'm not a Sith, but I just like red. Oh, it's just so cool. Look at the motion on this. Oh. Love it. Seriously, the Cali Motion LED Saber is absolutely incredible. Absolutely packed with awesome, unique features, design elements. It is amazing, it is strong, it is safe. You won't find any other Saber with such a wide range of incredible features like this. Give one of them a go, you'll absolutely love it. They're really, really cool. Uh, there's a link in the description if you're interested. These are such great fun. Uh, I love them. And thank you for Cali Motion for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, let's get to breaking down this fermented urination that has just been peed upon. The steaming crap pile that is Rise of Skywalker. You might notice that I didn't really like the film. But the actual fight scene starts within the Death Star. There is a brief exchange. It cuts away and then it cuts back to them fighting on the platform, you know, above the water. But because we're going to break down the entire fight scene, we're starting at the true beginning. Not when they're near the water, but when they're on the Death Star. And Rey here is looking somewhat constipated. Look, no offense to Daisy Ridley. She's a nice person. I'm, a, I'm attacking the characters, the depiction the movies, okay? Not individuals here. But see the cheap lazy plot device that Kylo Ren is holding in his hands right now? Well, he just breaks it, and that's the thing that Rey needs. And Rey is not happy. This causes her to attack. And... And already do we start with... <laughs> Doozy. So, let's, uh, let's go back. So, 
that's the starting position right here. Uh, uh, mm, mm. If you've seen any of my fight scene autopsy breakdown videos, do you, do you, can you see what, what's, what she's doing wrong here? Okay, this is a massively telegraphed swing. In fact, it's almost like a baseball bat position. You know, when you get up to the plate and you're about to swing a baseball bat? It's like, there's a, there's a reason why I call this fight the, the battle of baseball bats. This is a massively telegraphed swing. And not only is it telegraphed, it is overswung. Look, look at how wide and off balance it is. Ready? Wow! Look at that ending position, right? <laughs> Gosh! Oh my god, like, ah, uh, wow. Wow. Now, also, let's check if um, it was even going to hit Kyla. Did he even need to move? <laughs> look at it! What is she aiming for? Like, she's swinging it above her head! Oh, gosh! Oh my goodness, <laughs> you know, the throne room fight scene was bad, but this takes it to a new level, and that is a feat, that is a true feat of crapness, I, <clears throat> and this is the first attack! Oh boy, this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> So the first strike is massively telegraphed, it's overswung, and she is literally aiming for the air. So if you get a hit... Oh my goodness. You know, I actually got to choreograph my own fight scene for the short film adaptation of my novel. It'll be coming out, you know, I've, well, there's a lot of post-production, so, you know, stay tuned and it will be coming out, okay? And people have been wondering where that short film will be getting released. It'll actually be getting released right here on Shadowversity for free! But we might be submitting the short film into a couple of film festival competitions first. But in that choreography, and we didn't have a lot of time, but we got it as good as we could for the time we had, I made sure that people were aiming for the opponents, okay? We were using foam weapons made by Kalamazil, again, they're brilliant. You can even get your own replica of Imperius, the very type that we used on set in the short film production, available from Calamus Hill right now. But because we were using the phone, we just did some very simple things like aim for the shoulder. So if one of the actors were too slow and there was actual contact, it was going to hit in a harmless place with a foam weapon, which wouldn't do any damage at all. But that meant the actors actually had to dodge or get hit. But this, I don't know who choreographed this. That's just aiming for the air and the director, JJ. I mean, uh, I, uh, anyway. So that's the first strike, and ah, oh, the second strike is just as bad. Let's let's go back. Look at the oh, again. These are wild, brutish. Just it's beyond noob level. This is like a barbarian having a fit or something. It's just no, yeah, no, yeah, I swing club at you. And again, I don't even think Kylie needed to dodge. Oh, oh, so this is interesting. I won't criticize this too much because you won't notice it unless you're actually breaking it down frame by frame like we are here. But Ray could have struck Kylo if she just leant forward a bit more. See how straight her posture is? All right. You can actually get almost a good additional meter of reach if you just leant forward in that strike and she would have taken Kylo's head off. But she's clearly pulling the strike so it doesn't hit. But if I was choreographing this scene, I would have told Ray, and look, I'm just going to call them by her character names, to aim for Kylo's shoulder. And therefore, if Kylo didn't actually lean back, because is he really leaning back? He's reacting after. And ow, look at that. He's, he's pushing his stomach back as if the strike should have been aimed for his gut. But it was aimed for your head, mate. You should have leant back with your head. So this could have been Ray missing the area that she was supposed to aim for. But in any regard, Kylo is reacting after the strike passes. So look where the lightsaber is. And then he's leaning back, which means the timing is off. Again, if they just got Ray to aim for the shoulder, that means if the timing was off, it would have been a harmless hit. But it forces the actors to actually dodge. And it sells so much better on camera. And I've demonstrated the problem with overswingings in other videos. When you see your opponent overswinging, all you do is disengage your blade and then attack them in their open shoulder. Look at Ray's shoulder right here. I mean, if you just disengage your blade, smack, and she, you could chop off her arm completely. Uh, okay, okay. Sometimes I can give spins a pass. I've been reconsidering my position on them. I'm going to do a whole video on spins. If your opponent is far enough away and you have the distance and you want to show off and be an idiot, you can actually get away with a spin and your opponent won't be ready to take advantage of the opening. The opponent has to be particularly ready to do it. So 
people have done spins and rolls in actual combat. Actually, in fact, Skalagrim has a good video showing the kind of like the demon Dark Souls roll executed in an actual sword fighting match. It can be done, and I've even shown certain ways it can be done by keeping your guard up in other fights in autopsy videos. And so if you did a strike and then continue the momentum to just spin around instead of trying to stop the momentum of the strike and then reverse the actual direction and strike back and just go with it and spin around, you might be able to pull it off and it might not look as bad. But Ray here isn't doing a strike. She's literally... See that? Let's go back. Okay. She brings the sword. If she actually extended it into a strike and forced Kylo to move further back, that might have given her enough space to then complete a spin and then come in for another strike. It would have been a double strike. Strike, spin, and then straight into a strike using the same momentum, direction, and motion. But she isn't striking here. She's just like, oh, look, I'm moving in front, spinning around. And by doing that, she's not offending Kylo here. And so Kylo doesn't... Why is he moving back? He's like, were you going to attack? I don't know. But it's jumping back like it was supposed to be a strike. And maybe it was supposed to be a strike and they missed the choreography. But he doesn't have his lightsaber out either. So maybe he's just fully on the defensive. But this spin, because of the setup, it looks pretty dumb. Okay, big wide strike, overswing again. She's completely open. And so would this have landed? No. Again, if they just aim for the shoulder, they could have tightened the choreography, made it much closer, and actually show Kylo needing to dodge, otherwise he would have been struck. And so, overswing, and then she's coming down for a strike, uh, not aiming for anyone again. Oh gosh, every single move so far has been bad. Like, not even just passable or acceptable, we haven't even reached the realms of good, and I don't think we'll e ever reach the realms of, hey, that was a nice move! I, I don't even think we'll get to just acceptable in it. Uh, everything is awful so far! And so they cut to a different, and what are you aiming for?! Ray! There's no one there! Like, you're two, almost three meters! This is so bad! Oh, God! Gosh, it's painful! Uh, okay, I'm gonna say Kylo... Uh, like... Okay, he does a slide... Sure, I'll give the slide a pass. Does that mean I... Is it, do we get like a... Do we, was that an acceptable move? Maybe, I don't know, it wasn't needed. Okay, oh my goodness. What are you aiming for? Like, did... I don't know what, what's happening behind the scenes, because one of the reasons I could think of why they might get the actors to just aim so far past their opponent is because, I don't know, were they hitting the, the opponents too much in practice? It's like, alright, just aim further away, because you can't be trusted with these things, because this is every single attack Ray has done here, Kylo would not have needed to dodge at all. They, they would have all missed! And they're all overswung. It's just... Okay, okay, so... It's a cut, she's going for a thrust, and then we cut, and so... Would that have hit? Uh, it's closer, but it still technically would not have hit. And they're panning, the camera could try and mask it to make it look like it would have, but no. Uh, and also, to sell the thrust, if you lean into it, you could get almost an additional meter. Uh, almost. Again, Ray's body is very stationary. Okay, okay. See this sideways slash? We can see Kylo not moving back at all in it, which means... <laughs> Ray has missed again! <laughs> She's like, she can't aim! <laughs> <gasps> oh my goodness, I think I did a joke in a previous Fight Seats Autopsy where I had like my two or three year old son being, having better aim. Yeah, oh yes it was, it was the throne in Fight Scene showing him having better aim than Ray. This takes it to a whole new level. Every strike has, would have missed the opponent completely. And again, it's got, it's such a wide overswing that she even spins, or she's almost spinning around from it. And Kylo's just leaning back, look. This telegraphing! If you don't know, telegraphing a strike is basically telling your opponent by body language where the strike is coming from. You're showing with the arms like, look, like if you saw this, you would know where the strike is coming from. This is why telegraphing is bad. Sometimes you can get away with it if you want to overpower the strike, your opponent isn't ready and stuff like that. But in most instances, you never do it because it just tells your opponent what you're going to do unless you're fainting. You could, like, purposeful telegraphing can be done when you want to say, hey, this is where I'm going to attack. Ah, oh, but I'm not attacking from the right direction, I'm attacking from a different direction. Yeah, telegraph, that's great when you want to mislead your opponent. 
Ah, oh, and he finally gets his lightsaber out. It's like, oh, this attack might actually hit. I'll actually have to block this time. And it would have. Uh, that, that attack would have hit. And they hold it for a good while. At least they don't hold it for too long, but still they're in the bind and Kylo could do many things. Rey could try and do many things. It's a big pet peeve. This is the very pet peeve that I want to address in the choreography I did for my short film. There's a whole video of me explaining it and you get to see a sneak peek into the choreography to show some of the things you can do from in the bind. But I wonder how many static bi holding binds we'll have in this fight. Let's see. Okay, so instead of taking advantage of the bind, uh, Re no, Kylo pushes it off. Ray is following through. Oh, it's, no, they're not following through. They're just like going into a, oh, I'm off balance. And then she does an... So, this is weird. Um, in the motion, Kylo pushes Ray's lightsaber off. It is obviously swinging back, not swinging forward. And so, Kylo's lightsaber should be behind Ray at this moment. But they do a bit of editing sneakery, skullduggery, to uh, avoid something. Because now, as it progresses forward, oh, it's in front of Ray. I mean, did he literally just chop off Ray's ankle? Like, like the lightsaber tickly? Because that should be behind Ray. It moves to in front of Ray. So Ray's leg was just chopped off. Of course, there was no actual lightsaber. This is uh, added in in post. But from what we're seeing here, <laughs> Kylo just chopped off Ray's foot. Oh my goodness, but anyway, Ray comes in with a big wide overswing, Kylo jumps out of the way, he, yeah, and he's just trying to make distance, that wasn't really a spin, that was like, I'm disengaging, and then he jumps down, Ray jumps after him, uh, cuts to something else, and then we cut back, and so we've just cut it together, so that's all seamless, and the fight scene continues with Ray, ah, uh, she does a big swing, nothing much to comment there, ah, uh, another... So she was in this one. This is a low strike. All right. See how it's coming in. And it, and it hits slow. Kylo kind of. No, he doesn't even block because it passes through. And so. But there's connection there. It's like. What? Okay. So. The lightsabers have not slid apart. But there is a flash. See the flash here? Showing a connection. And then. It's like. Ray's lightsaber literally passed through Kylo's lightsaber here. Oh, well, good to stop. Of course, these are things you don't notice, but if I was still editing this, I would, like, maybe I could, if there was a mistake, it's like, if it's moving so fast, people won't notice, but still, I'm going to point it out, because that's the point of these videos. Ray's lightsaber literally passes through Kylo's, uh, but if she, if, if it didn't, and I was forced to slide off, see, see where Kylo's lightsaber is? He just extends it a bit, leans back, his crossguard would actually protect him from, you know, Ray's lightsaber, that's the point of crossguards, they're great, and he could have struck, you know, Ray in the head here. But he, oh, oh, another spin, this spin would have, uh, this one's bad, because look at, look at how exposed her back is, and with the, uh, you know, measure that they have, the distance, all Kylo needs to do is extend and would grab her. But of course, he stands there like an idiot, let her do the spin. And she goes in for, uh, like, oh, so she, it's on the side and then it comes in for a low strike. They connect and then it bounces off. And then Kylo, he, he's disengaging again. And then, oh, look, you know, a little bit of a, you know, basic flourish. But I like basic flourishes. I can give it to her, fine. Okay, so we have a thrust where Ray is literally aiming for dead space. Uh, so Kylo, if you see where your sword is, you just bring it around, like so, like rotate your wrist 180 degrees. Uh, you'll take off Ray's hand here because she's overextending. Uh, but you miss, you miss. So so what are you aiming for there, Kylo? You hit the ground. Like if you just you know like see how he lowers his arm in this motion. He, he like. His forearm is literally rotating. No, no, if you just rotated with your wrist, kept your arm elevated, you wouldn't have hit the ground, and you could have taken off Ray's arm. But, no, you're... Gosh, look, they are supposed to be mastered. They defeated the uh, the red, you know, Imperial Guard. I forget their names. That, that technically establishes that they are supposed to be masters, even though they're fighting worse than noobs. I've seen noobs, people who've just picked up swords for the first time, fight better than 
how these two are moving with the motions. It's so bad. Like seriously, if you want to watch a good fight scene, check out Adaria or the new Corridor Digital video. Look at how tight and non-telegraphed these strikes are. Really close and look how good it looks! Come on! And it's not hard to choreograph this stuff and it looks so good. Who made the fight scene in this, you know, battle of baseball bats? I don't understand. This is awful. Okay, so Kyle hits the ground, and they're staggering, they're flailing around like drunken monkeys, really, like, look at this, and then, okay, so, she comes in for a big telegraphed wide baseball bat swing, strike, and, uh, okay, so, water comes in the way, and now they're in new positions, Ray's spinning it around, um, Kylo comes in, but Ray's doing an overhead strike, so he blocks, throws it aside, comes in for a strike. Who are they aiming for? We don't know. Kylo goes for a baseball bat position. Ray goes for a baseball bat position. What are they going to do, people? Uh, they just aim for each other's lightsabers. They're not aiming for each other. They're just aiming for the opponent's sword. Look, sometimes you can do it if you want to strike the sword off position to create an opening and then take advantage of that opening. But no, they are just aiming for the sword because they are horrible swords people, swordsmen. Okay, and so we go to a new position, swing around, where- Kylo, Kylo, what are you aiming for here, mate? What are you- it's just aiming for- okay, sure, whatever. Spins around, a- uh, oh, oh. Uh, so Ray is aiming for- oh, it just comes in and hits the light, she's aiming for the lightsaber again. And then it just slides off, like so. They re- oh, look! Oh. Oh my goodness. You, you didn't need to pull back so far. You, you could have just let it slide off. And look, rotating your wrists is fine in sword strikes. You can strike a lot by keeping your arms forward and just manipulating your wrists. You can get a lot of different angles and deflections and attacks positions. And all the while keeping the sword forward and you can still maintain a guard. It's really useful and it looks like you have structure and form. It just looks better. But no, in this, it's all arm flailing. L like, oh, gosh. Like, this is one of the good things in the Obi-Wan vs. Anakin. In a lot of the choreography, the arms are still held forward and they're manipulating the wrists around to get the strikes and it conveys form and structure. It looks so much better, but compared to this absolute steaming crap. This is one of the worst sword fights I've ever seen in cinema. Or a high budget production, okay? Give me that, uh, I, I, granted, there are some awful fight scenes, but in a high budget production, this is, like, almost takes the cake. Kylo goes, uh, Kylo's going low, his head is exposed. If Rey just slipped her legs back, she would slice Kylo's head off completely. But no, no, it's like they want to aim for the swords. It's like, oh, your sword's going low, I better hit the sword, because that's what I'm aiming for, not the bloody opponent! And uh, uh, they go for a wind, they bind, they're pushing against each other's thing, Kylo's getting leverage, they spin around, they separate, and then, Rey, oh, oh, we need this. Ray! <laughs> That's Finn's primary line. He will forever be known as the Ray character. Ready? Okay, yep, he's screaming. A hit. Uh, and look, that finally, maybe that strike would have actually hit someone. This is like only the second time where I... And this is astounding. Think about all the engagements we've had between these two lightsabers. And I think this is only the second time... Maybe the third, but I'm pretty sure it's the second, where the lightsabers would have struck the opponent if they didn't block. That's astounding. <laughs> We're back to aiming for the air. Like, Ray, what are you aiming for? It's just passing. It's just aiming for. Seriously. People, do you see how bad this is? Oh. So, and um, yeah, Kylo. You technically could get her here, but no, you're withdrawing, spinning around, coming to the other side, and okay, okay, this one. Ugh. I think the choreography was meant for Kylo to duck underneath the strike, but it looks like Ray misses the mark here, and instead of striking the head, so... Kylo can duck under it, she's striking for the body, and because it's not moving back, you know what that tells us? It tells she missed. She's hitting thin air, okay? Because if Kylo doesn't move back, it means he's not actually dodging the strike, but because the strike doesn't hit, she's hitting nothing but air. 
And so this is actually, I believe, well, there's a lot of mistakes in choreography, but this is a missed timing. I think Daisy, the actual actress playing, you know, Ray here, missed the mark and was supposed to go for their head and, and that attack should have passed over top for Kylie to duck underneath. And even if the, you know, she was actually too far away to hit, that the angle of the camera, if the lightsaber passed over top, would still look like she actually was aiming for the head and forcing Kylie to duck. But because she misses the mark here, no, it tells us she misses completely. And same with Kylo. It's just, oh my goodness. Uh, we don't really get to see what happens here. Oh, no, Kylo goes down, hits lightsabers, it's too close angle to see, clearly. And then Ray turns her back to Kylo. Uh, and yeah, yeah, she's going to force push Finn away. And... Uh, and it might be saying, does Kylo really want to kill Rey here? I mean, she's trying to kill him. Uh, like, look, I don't buy it. Yes, he's a bit on the defensive, but he could definitely incapacitate her if he doesn't want to kill her. She is trying to kill you. Like, this is one of the biggest openings we've seen in this fight scene so far. And let's just see how long it takes. Okay, so see that? See that? Ki this whole... This is like a good second or two seconds. One, two, and let's see through, like, this is even further. I just want to see, so, it looks like between all of that, Kylo does not do a single thing, and we only come back to him now deciding, oh, I will attack you, and Rey is only just now, she only just recently turned back to him. And throughout this whole sequence, right, we'll go, oh, look at that, it's going backwards, yay. Throughout this whole sequence, okay, from this point here, Rey has her back facing Kylo, and he just lets her stand there. And if you're saying, oh, he doesn't want to kill her, you know, it's funny, that might be true because of all the strikes that are not being aimed at the opponent, but... No, that's, that's just a mistake in choreography. These attacks are supposed to be being given with lethal intent. And especially the strike that Kylo comes in after Rey's back turn is coming with a downward strike. That one actually looks like it might have hit her. We'll double check. But that means if Rey doesn't block, it would have killed her, which means Kylo is intending to kill her. So then why isn't he killing her when her flipping back is to her for several seconds? This is almost five, six seconds. Oh, no, it's even for like... And look, uh, so is Kylo Amy? It looks... Actually, he's aiming. That would have missed her again. So maybe he's not trying to kill her because there's never, no one's aiming for anyone. But as soon as we get to a point where they're actually aiming for the opponent instead of dead air or the lightsabers, that will establish the opponents have lethal intent to kill each other. And then if they don't take advantage of dead openings, it's a massive plot hole in the story of this fight scene because fight scenes are meant to convey a story. It's like a self-contained story. But we will continue, but still that was like one of the biggest openings and you know fails in this fight scene so far. And Kylo misses completely. Ray just lets see like she doesn't it's not a full hanging guard. She just swings up and over. It's like they didn't even connect and they just did the flash to pretend they connect and then they pass through the lightsabers pass through each other. And then they continue kind of disengaged. I mean Ray could look your back, his, mm. See, Kylo overswings massively and then is off balance and he stumbles forward. And so if Rey just slashes back, she would have killed him. But no, she's... They're, they're so incompetent in this fight. She just lets him recover. He comes in for this weird low, come, low rising strike. They connect. Rey's lightsaber comes, spins around. He's coming down. Cool. Is that aimed for her? It's hard to tell. Not really, but... Mm. No, it's not because... It's like they pass through. Like, look at this. It connects. And usually, when blades connect, they push against each other to slide and then disengage. There's no sliding to disengage. They just pass through like they're not there. So I'm actually wondering now if they're even using real props. I think they're just using handles without anything coming out and they're just going through the motions and then they're adding the sabers the energy blades in post adding the flash like they connect because like if these were two physical objects clashing they're defying the laws of physics and matter because they're literally passing through one another here it's very sloppily done so pass through over swing the back is exposed uh, going in for a strike but then we cut to a different angle see it connect here Oh, and we get to a static bind. Let's see how long they hold it. 
Wow, let's put up a timer to see how many seconds they hold this static bind. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. I freaking hate this. It's everywhere. Okay, so we're starting right here at the flash. Timer up. I won't know. I'll just count and I probably will get it off in my count. But still, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven full seconds I got. I don't know what the official timer was. But oh my goodness, oh, this, is, this is awful, like, either of you can do so much from the bind, rotate, do something, like, Ray, step back and extend, strike Kylo, because his lightsaber isn't held up, I, seriously, to address this pet peeve, in my own choreography, I choreographed a sequence, I think it went to, like, ten different motions of attacks from the bind, every single attack of motion was from the bind without the swords disconnected, you just show the versatility and options you have from, a, you know, when the swords connect, and it ended up looking really cool. It's such a missed opportunity, and anyone who knows anything about sword fighting, when we see this, is just like, you guys don't know what you're doing, it looks awful. Anyway, so she throws it off, she runs away, force jump, Kylo does a jump, Finn is like, oh, they jumped. Uh, yeah, they, they, they can jump, Finn. And look at that, that's a pretty big jump, yeah. It's like they're flying. Ray, oh, Kylo out jumped her, gets in front of her, spins around, and points his sword. So, so, so. This shows that Kylo doesn't know how to properly employ the advantage of a cross guard. Why? The cross guard is currently pointed vertical, not horizontally. Why is that a problem? If a downward strike comes, it'll miss the cross guard and could potentially hit his hand. But by rotating that cross guard so it sits horizontally and then raising it a bit, you actually are employing the cross guard in defense. It blocks downward strikes. It's actually a really effective guard to block incoming strikes like that. This is where the type of sword can actually inform the forms and moves that you actually do in swordplay. And it also shows that whoever choreographed this fight scene doesn't really know how to employ cruciform swords to their optimal level, how you can use their design and fight more effectively with them. And so Ray, yeah, she just knocks. So look, this one I actually won't criticize it. The sword is in the guard position. Well, actually, I will. She overswings. It's a massive overswing. Look, she actually brings it all the way behind her. Okay. But the actual act of striking the blade off point is, is fine. It works well. But you want to follow up very quickly to strike it away and come down with a, with a follow-up strike because she knocks it completely off line. Okay, Kylo's open there. Use the advantage, but no, she's just flailing around. I was like, and then another, like, oh gosh, baseball bat, right? Oh, just wide telegram. And look, this is this is like literally baseball bat. Oh, sweet, look at this coming here. Kyle, ah, uh, hits. So, so see how she's moving back to you know expose her back in a spin. See where Kylo's blade was. Look. You could say that the strike is knocking Kylo's blade away, and if that creates enough room, maybe you could fit in a spin, but it's very, I would like, no, you would never do it in reality. This is a movie, you want it to be flashy, and you could try and justify, she knocked away his blade enough to execute a spin. I don't think it's sold, in my opinion. I'm, I'm not buying it. She does bad spin, she doesn't bring the sword back in guard, because it's held behind her after she completes the spin. She comes in for a low strike, it must have connected, it's off camera, so we don't see, and look, she does another spin, see here, she hits there, another spin around, so if that was aimed lower, that would actually not be too bad, if the lightsaber was just lower in the spin, she's actually executing an attack in the spin, but she's not. Like, she's not aiming for him. It's just, like, so it could have been good. I could have given a pass, but no, because the lightsaber isn't offending anyone. It's just aiming too high. She's exposing her back then. She goes in for another attack. Don't know what she hits. And look. Ugh. These over swings, right? Like, they just, they don't have any regard for their own defense. They're not holding up a defense at all. Like, I don't care. It's just so open right here. And then... Look, <sighs> telegraphing again, holding down. Kylo, look where your sword is. Just like move it. You're probably 30, 20 centimeters away from her head. Chop her head off before she executes it. And look how slow, like look where his sword is, right? 
all that whole motion, right? You could actually do this in a single tempo as well. You could take the head off, but also raise it in a guard position, deflect the incoming strike, and she'll be dead. But no, it doesn't happen. And she disengages, spins around, and they're just they're just flailing. So Finn is just watching aimlessly, can't do anything. Oh, there it is! His main primary line. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, coming in. They there's a there's a flash here, right? But after the flash, the lightsaber looks like it passed through Kylo's hands there. Did she just chop I know she didn't, but like from the actual editing, it really looks like she should have chopped off Kylo's hands there. Uh, ugh, again, just bad. Kylo's literally just holding his sword doing nothing through that this like nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. And so if he was aiming for her, and again, that strike wouldn't have even hit you. Like, look, you might say it could have offended his leg if he just slipped the leg. Could have attacked her in the head, killed her again, but no. They, all right, so they're both going back to do huge telegraph strikes. Look at what... Oh, oh my goodness. So Ray is telegraphing massively. Kylo, he... All right, just brings to a static block. Uh, so, so, lethal intent. If Kylo didn't block here, this would hit him. And they go to another static bind. Ha have a look. Just just have a look. How close Ray's lightsaber is to Kylo's head. So he establishes lethal intent. She wants to kill him. She literally technically does, you know, in this fight, at the end of this. So she wants to kill him. And look how close, if she just rotates the lightsaber just a little bit to the, like the blade, to the left, she's going to slice off the top part of his head. Uh, or if she extends her arm, it's just, it's just, it's in a bind like this where her blade is so close to Kylo, it just looks awful. Let's see how long they, they hold the bind. So first, they get into the bind right here. Let's time it. Let's go. One, two, three. Or, oh, okay, so that actually wasn't too long there, but still plenty of enough time, especially where Ray's lightsaber was. Let's go back, because look at how close it is. Ray still had plenty enough time to kill Kylo. Kylo pushes it away, really opening up. And I mean, if he just pushed and followed up, he could have killed her, but no, she brings it back. We don't know what she's aiming for hitting there. Um, again, the lightsaber's just part, like... They just pass through each other, like they're not there. If these were physical objects, the, Kylo would need to have been forced into almost like a hanging guard to let the lightsaber slide off. But there's no hanging guard here at all. See, look! Sh th they pass through each other! So! Uh, well, I don't consider these movies canon, but if they are canon, this movie is establishing lightsabers can literally pass through each other! Ah. Uh. Back exposed, horrible, like, mm, spin, Kylo pauses, obviously the actors are pausing to try and let the act, the, you know, each other finish the choreography, but it, it's so slow, it's just waiting around, like, especially right here, it's just waiting, doing really slow movements, and then that aimed for yep that was aimed for the lightsaber because ray didn't need to lean back to dodge it and so there we go and they swing and uh, hit kylo does a spin now kylo's first spin he's going with the motion but still ray again if she extended she would have been able to kill him he does a really bad spin in this one where he doesn't have the distance to do it in a safe manner and he doesn't have a guard or is not fending off the opponent with like a backward strike. And then he goes for a thrust and oh, lethal intent. So look, look right here. This strike would absolutely skew a ray if she doesn't block. So this now has a, st <laughs> this is like, one of the <laughs> is this like the first time? One of the, I don't know, one of the first times Kylo has actually has a strike that would have hit Ray if she doesn't block. Because so many have just been aimed at dead air. But yes, Kylo wants to kill Ray if Ray doesn't block here. Uh, she would have been dead. She brings it down. So, so Kylo, just 
see the pressure Ray is pushing downwards on? If you just withdraw your lightsaber a little bit, her motion would push her lightsaber further, and it, and her fist would hit the deck, and then you just you just bring it back a little bit and slice up, and she's dead. But no, you decide to hold it there for age. Just pull it back, Kylo. Pull back your lightsaber. Yeah, just just pull back. Shad, why am I down here? Well, while we're recreating the scene, this is this is what Ray is doing. Huh. Why does Ray do this? Oh, um, she's special. Oh. <laughs> um, Ray does a jump. It's a jump. Kylo just walks through the water like a boss. Reverse grip. Okay. Yeah. Look, reverse grip is awful. It actually limits your range of motion. It limits your reach. It's terrible. But people think it looks cool, and so that's why. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Staring at each other. <sighs> this might be the most telegraphed, because he's actually leading into it. He's running into this strike. This is probably the most telegraphed strike in the whole fight team. He's leading into it like... He's basically... This is what I'm doing, right? I'm going to be doing an upward strike, and it's awful. It's because, like, the reverse grip means you don't nearly have the reach or range of motion uh, or leverage, especially if you get in a bind position and you actually want to out leverage your opponent, you have far less leverage in that position, and uh, it's just awful. Push! I'm push! push. I'm push. <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know, she, Ray moves aside. His back is exposed, she doesn't hit him, he comes around for a wide strike here. She stops with the Force! I've already commented in other videos that Jedis and Sith, they do not use the Force nearly as much as they should when fighting, because, my goodness, uh, you just throw your opponent, you know, into war or something. At least Dooku tried to do it somewhat. So, blocking with the Force seems like a waste of energy if you can just block with your lightsaber, but this is the thing. Okay, okay. So, Ray. Kylo's weapon is held at bay with the Force. What does that mean? This is almost like blocking an opponent's blade with an off-handed weapon, like a parrying dagger. And, and you're, you're almost trapping it there, almost like it's a sword breaker. And so what does that mean? That means Kylo's weapon, his main defensive item, is locked away. It's pushed aside. He can't use it in proper defense. And you're able to lock away his weapon with one hand. You're using one hand with the force. So, 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 Ray, you, you, you have a second hand. And your second hand is holding a lightsaber. And, and Kylo's lightsaber is held at bay. Just freaking kill him with your lightsaber, you stupid! Ugh! This is more dumb than when Ray's lightsaber was tangled with the laser whip. And she could have just extended and hit the opponent or turned it off and on. To the, for the whip to disappear, lets herself be pulled in in the throne room fight scene. But this is even worse because she's got the lights, she's doing nothing with it. <laughs> You're just holding your light, use your lightsaber. And and so instead of taking advantage of a good several seconds of when Kylo was dead open because you're using the force to hold it at bay, you release your force hold and then decide to strike at the opponent's lightsaber. <laughs> this is giving me an aneurysm. Everything in this fight so far has been awful. Okay, Kylo still reverse grip, aiming for lightsabers. Ray brings down from behind. She's not really blocking anything. Don't know why she's doing that. She comes in for a... She's, if you aim for the head, you would have hit him. But no, they're both aiming for each other's lightsabers. Like, they're, they're both in measure. In, in enough... Yeah, they're close enough to hit each other, right? But instead of taking advantage of that, they're aiming for each other's weapons. Uh, Ray telegraphs again. They, Kylo aims for nothing but air. Uh, they pass. Their backs are exposed. And... Ray just does this big wind-up, taking ages. And look at the effort and exertion they're putting into these strikes. I have a video on how you would logically fight with lightsabers. It's a good one. 
go check it out if you're interested. And one of the takeaways, not only, there's a lot more information in that video. One of the takeaways is that you wouldn't actually need to put in a lot of force, okay? They're lightsabers. A, a touch of these things would kill an opponent. Ergo, you don't need to put heaps of force behind your strikes, which means you could keep your strikes really tight. Just move, manipulate your wrists, keep your arms forward. But in this fight scene, both Kylo and Rey are swinging with all their might, and it looks awful. And Rey... Okay, maybe. And what is she aiming for? The she's not looking where she's striking. She's like, she's closing her eyes. It's not, uh, well, maybe she's squinting, uh, uh, but it looks like her eyes are closed here. And Kyla, what are you? Where? What are you doing with your lightsaber, mate? Where is it pointing? And then Kylo. Okay, so remember everything, like literally everything I said about Ray holding Kylo's lightsaber at bay with the Force. I repeat, for Kylo in this instance, you have a lightsaber! Do something with it! Ready? Like, the whole, let, let's see how long he's holding it with the Force, and this whole length of time he would be able to kill Rey with it, like. And it's still going! Oh, and then Rey finally pulls her lightsaber away. That entire time, Kylo, just swing your blade up, chop off Rey's arms or something like that. Even in a reverse grip you could do this. But no. Ray withdraws her lightsaber. Kylo, is, it almost looks like he's returned to a normal grip here. Uh, aims for the lightsaber. Uh, swing at each other. I get. <laughs> it really looks like the lightsabers just pass through one another. There's no sliding to disengage at all. Maybe Ray hit with the tip, but look, the tip is extended pretty far, you know beyond the point of Kylo's lightsaber, which means it's, it looks like it's hitting a good 15 centimeters down the lightsaber energy blade, and then they just pass through each other. That's not how lightsabers are supposed to work! Uh, Ray goes into a really bad spin. There are some awful spins in here. They aim low all the time. Again, she's aiming low, but you know, Kylo's coming in for a bit of a low-ish hanging guard. So yeah, you know, that might, might work. But then she goes for a really bad spin. Kylo, see where your lightsaber is? It's down, facing what just... If Kylo, it's so close! If he just raised his lightsaber, he would literally cut Ray right in half here. But no, he waits, giving her, like, like he's, he's letting her complete the spin. And then now he raises it to block. Ah. Oh. Ray, what are you aiming for here? What are you aiming for here? <laughs> Oh, okay, just up, aiming for air. And, oh, is this where it's like, ow, I hurt my hand, Kylo. Let's have a look. So, okay, okay. So, I would almost say they throw away any form or semblance at, you know, uh, structure in this, in their, you know, style of fighting. But they had none to begin with. But Ray is like, this is like, she's she's at the end of her uh, of her rope here, and then she supposedly is resorting to really bad. No, she's just resorting to like I don't know what it. This she's her, her attacks are now coming slower. They're telegraphed just as much as before. It's like it's not going to do. It's like she's just trying to put in more strength behind it. Strength isn't going to do spit. And first grip really. Aiming for nothing, lightsaber passes through that. Like it looks like it passes through, hits nothing. She exposes her back. Kylo's blade is already pointing towards her. He could kill her. They go into a bad low thing. The movements are so slow. Ugh, it just looks incredibly fake. Oh, oh, is it getting stopped by the cross guard? It looks like it. Good. That's what cross guards are meant to do. And he just throws her off. <laughs> it's like, so it's like implying that she's getting hand shock. This is a first in Star Wars. But again, good thing these movies aren't canon. Well, Disney wants to pretend they're canon, but they're not. Because if they were, okay, lightsabers can give hand shock. It's, it's a new thing. I uh, don't know what she's aiming for. I, oh, oh. This is like the first bit of winding from the bind. They're 
in the blind, and instead of holding static, Kylo pushes it up, as he's getting caught on the cross guard, so he's getting pushed with it, yep, makes sense, um, but he's moving around, he pushes up overhead, don't it? okay, okay, so, from the angle, he's pushing it up and over, Ray's lightsaber is actually inside Kylo's lightsaber now, that's not a good move, mate, she just moves her lightsaber down, you're completely open on that side, and she could cut you in half, uh, but now it, like, switches, now it looks like Ray's lightsaber is on top of Kylo's. But if we literally look, so for Kylo to be able to push it up, Ray's lightsaber needs to be on the left side. So we're looking at this. See Kylo's lightsaber? Left side of Kylo's lightsaber for Kylo to be able to push her lightsaber in this direction. So as we follow that motion, now see where Kylo's lightsaber is? Ray's lightsaber should be underneath it. But in this cut, they pretend that it's now on top. Well, I mean, the lightsaber is literally passing through each other's energy portions all the time in this fight. I guess it's just happened again. Because now, now it's on top. It, like, we can actually see the blue energy crossing over on top of Kylo's one. <laughs> oh, the editing is awful in this fight scene, too. And Kylo is pushing up. The blades just magically pass through one another to reverse their positions. <laughs> this is awful! Uh, Kylo pushes him, it off, impossibly, he swings around, and doing really, really slow, like, over the telegraphed strikes here, look at this, oh, telegraphed, telegraphed, oh, it's, oh, so bad, and then Ray is just tired, he hits with so much strength, it knocks her down, but her lightsaber is like, like if she, <laughs> she just sweeped her lightsaber forward, she would cut it him in half. And if Kylo, be, there's no guard. They don't care about defense. But I guess, Ky is Kylo taunting her at this point? Because he like, see that motion? That motion literally could have killed her. So we have to take from that, that Kylo doesn't want to kill her, even though there has been strikes of lethal intent that if Ray didn't block, it would have killed him. But you say, oh, he knew she would have blocked Chad. That's not actually how sword fights work. Even people you're fighting that you know are competent can miss a block. That's the point of sword fights and everything. So when you're striking with lethal intent with each one, even in a setting like this, you can't guarantee that they'll be able to block every strike. But anyway, Kylo literally could have killed Rey in this motion here. He doesn't, so he must be taunting her. Rey is demoralized, but she certainly still wants to kill him because we know what she does a bit later. But then he, look again, this is a strike with lethal intent. It's aimed right for her head. So if he wants to kill her, why didn't he in this motion here? It's like, you could have killed her, you flippin' moron. But then he tries to kill her here. She blocks, knocks it aside, knocks again. And they, these are just really brutish, like swings and and now he has her defeated oh no so this kind of implies that he would have killed her then if he didn't sense what that was happening to leia again implying kylo is trying to kill ray but there are other things outside and so again why he doesn't take advantage of the openings before but anyway he senses his mother and uh oh, look if you haven't seen don't oh well, i wouldn't recommend seeing the movie it's not, well, it is spoilers, not spoilers, but I don't care if I spoil it because the movie's bad and I don't want you to watch it anyway. But yes, his mother dies. It's, 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 it's Leia. And so, yeah, yeah, his thing. And so, again, this is a situation where Kylo is just standing, not putting up a defense. And Rey does take advantage of it. But he doesn't take advantage of any of the other ones in the previous exchanges. Because he's standing here. He's sensing his mother, and yes, like, whoa, this is lasting for ages. Ray is taking a long time to see this opening. Maybe that's the thing. It just takes her forever to realize it. And then she noticed him drop it. This, this, this move does not make sense. Why does she want to kill him with his own lightsaber? She's holding a lightsaber of her own, and she, we know she wants to kill him, because she kills him with his own lightsaber, but she had her lightsaber standing, just holding it off to the side at the ready this whole time, and she doesn't kill him with it, even though she wants to kill him! She's a flippin' moron! And she's, look, she 
still holding your lightsaber with the other hand? But no, it's like, I want to kill her with your own lightsaber because reasons. And then, yeah, she stabs him in the gut. And then she senses Ray die. Oh, no, not Ray. She senses uh, Leia die. And she's like, oh, now I sense it too. And so if you wanted to kill him, why did, I don't, well, well, we find out. We, we know why she heals him, because it turns out she has the hots for him. Doesn't matter that is a psycho murdering, crazy, like really crazy, mass murdering. Ugh. But I, 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 I'm attracted to his wide chest. <laughs> Seriously, the Kylo or Raylo thing is just the worst love story. Like worst. What a worst ever. Falling in love with a mass murdering psychopath like Kylo. Bonus! Bonus fight scene autopsy! Because you, you thought we were done! You thought we were done! But no! Look at this fight scene! Kylo pushes with the force! He pushes with the force! This guy, he he purposely misses Kylo, goes, oh, oh look! That strike would have hit! Oh well, already this fight scene is better than the other one because he actually has to dodge the strike that moves over top. Ha! Huh. Well, there we go. Oh, he gets hit the thing, he gets hit. So, so he gets hit three times. They're using bladed. Why? <laughs> they want to kill him. Why haven't they struck him with the deadly parts of their weapons? <laughs> Those are three hits. They, they literally hit him with that they didn't decide to use the blades of their weapons. But yet they want to kill him. Why didn't you just kill him in the literal three hits that you landed? These guys are absolute idiots. To kill Ra Kylo right here, and you choose not to, you just hit him with the pummels. And we know how deadly pummels are, but obviously not in the Star Wars universe, because Kylo's surviving these hits. Kylo gets up, he should be dead. You think you're clever, you're not, okay? So now, Kylo has the lightsaber! See? That's why you should have killed him when you had the chance. Or the four chances. So, uh, two down. He knocks us, like, I don't know what that was. The guy wasn't attacking with the axe. You could have just killed him. All right. It's the Kylo one we're interested in. He blocks. I got, all right, that guy was aiming at nothing. You see, see this guy with the big sword coming into the sword? Yeah, aiming at nothing. Kylo knocks us aside. All right, you know, this spin... I will not criticize. He's surrounded, so he needs to spin to see where his opponents are. So yes, yes, and like, look, it would have been better if he extended the lightsaber, ward them away. This is where spinning is actually not only workable, but a beneficial move, because we see it in Montante, uh, you know, treatises. Big great swords, you know, the actual historical ones, where there's spinning actually incorporated in the moveset to ward away opponents. That's the good spinning. Uh, okay, so this guy, he blocks two hits, yeah, because they attack like idiots, and spins to the side. Oh, that's right. I was like, there's one thing I knew I wanted to, uh, you know, bring up in, uh, in this fight scene autopsy, and it's this move right here, okay? Kylo, he goes down, and he holds the lightsaber right here, and for like several seconds, and so... I don't know about you guys, but if I was attacking someone <laughs> in that position, I don't know, I'd just aim a bit lower or or to the side at any place where my weapon wouldn't strike the lightsaber. But no, he holds it for a good while. And the guy, it's like, he just decides to aim for the light. Just aim a little bit lower. You got a big cleavy thing. <laughs> huh. Are you, are you, are you going to hit me? Lightsaber. Yeah, it'll be so cool. But I can stab you like 50 different ways and I don't even need my lightsaber for half of them. Oh, this probably isn't the best uh, guard position then, is it? No, I don't think so. Okay. Do you want me to like, check if your prostate's okay or...? This is one of the dumbest positions and moves I've ever seen in a high budget film. Like, I mean... Well, look, Kylo did do the backwards moonwalking strike at the beginning of the film. That was pretty astronomically dumb as well. Which, what are you thinking? Tell me in the comments, which one's worse? The moonwalking attack or the static hold behind my back block? Okay. Oh, looking forward to hearing your opinions below. 
and then he decided. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb. All right, we're gonna gonna leave it there. Maybe, well, look, is there anything else to comment on? You know, finally uses the force. He, he stabs someone. He does a force jump, kills there, uh, and so it's basically over now. Yeah, and so that's it. So nothing really else to comment on that one. Oh boy, this one was uniquely painful. Wow, that was so. So bad. <laughs> I do believe this, you know, the choreography and that main fight scene and the Death Star is the worst sword fight in any high budget film I've ever seen. What do you think? This has been Fight Scene Autopsy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And of course, I hope to see you in one of the next or future videos here on Shadow Mercy. So until that time, farewell.